one. Okay. Coach, give us a basic <laughs> overview of the, uh, the kids you signed for this coming year. Uh, we, we've got some very athletic kids. Byron Cobb, an outfielder from uh, West Feliciana High School, just north of Baton Rouge. Um, Chris Miller from North Shore High School in, the north, in uh, Slidell. Um, very athletic, two extremely athletic kids. Kentrell Smith, an outfielder from Lufkin, Texas. Very athletic. That was our goal with the new bat changes uh, um, that the NCAA is doing with our bats the, the next few years. We really had to go out and get some kids that could really run. So we're excited about that. We're excited about a couple of arms. We, we, we signed Jordan McCoy from Central Alabama Community College, uh, as well as Tyler Notcamp from South Terrebonne High School, and also a big hitter from Vanderbilt Catholic High School and, and Eric Mormont. So that's the core group there. And Chase Garrett, another extremely athletic catcher that we got from Terlings Catholic uh, in Lafayette, Louisiana. So. We've done a great job of recruiting them locally uh, in this region here, and then we're, as well as we really fit some needs that we're, we're looking to, to get. So. Five Louisiana kids, including the second generation colonel. That's right, another second generation colonel, and uh, he's very excited. His dad played here in the '80s, and very his better days are ahead of him as far as his maturity, because he's a big kid. He's six to 200 pounds now, and he still has some room to grow. So we're excited about him. But Louisiana has been very good to us the last couple of years. We had some success last year. And uh, people took notice of that, and then now Nickel State is a, is a popular phone call when they receive it, for sure. Looks like you had a big need in the outfield, losing uh, all three of your outfielders next season, so that was the main focus. That was a huge focus, because Scott Mosley's is an all-conference player for us, Bear Comer's an all-conference player for us, Casey Culberson's an everyday player that it fits our, our style very well with his speed and being a left-handed hitter. So we had to go out and replace those guys, and whoever whoever it was that was going to come in needed to know that they were coming in and playing right away. They had some very big shoes to fill. So we've got three really athletic freshmen that we're excited about, and they've got a chance to come in and play right away. So we're excited about it. Arms are always the focus, but what other areas are you looking to fill uh, in the later signing class coming up? Uh, we, we filled, I also missed one that I was, um, forgot to, I failed to mention, Leo Vorgas was a shortstop that we signed, who was a huge need because Chase Armillo is a senior this year. So we went out and signed Vorgas um, from Frank, Frank Phillips Community College, and we, it was an opportunity for him to come in and, and be a leader right away. I, I feel like he's very, every, every bit as good as Chase. Um, we are going to focus, though, in the spring, um, maybe find one or two arms that can come in and be difference makers right away. And other than that, that's that's really that's all we're going to concentrate on. Which you got to you know give some tribute to our coaching staff for, for putting us in a good, good situation. We don't want to spend the whole spring recruiting. We want to be able to coach the guys that we have now. So we're in a very good shape right now as far as we can be selective on who we want in the spring. All right, coach. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.